it is my lunch break. I have 30 minutes to get done the tasks that I need to around my house as quickly as I can. So over the next 30 minutes, I'm going to just try to go around and get cleaning done. There's always so much cleaning to do every single day. I am a wife and a mom to a two-year-old and we do have a dog. She's a black lab, so her hair is everywhere. So I have to vacuum every single day. There's always toys to clean up, dishes to be done, and of course, laundry. So get your to-do list ready and set your timer for 30 minutes and let's get done as much cleaning as we can during this lunch break. Set timer to 30 minutes. I'm starting off today with the dishes. I've got a few that need to be hand washed and some that need to go in the dishwasher and then I've got to get this dishwasher running. If you're cleaning alongside me, where are you starting today? What area of the house when you have to do a quick clean do you like to get started with? Leave a comment down below. I love to do these quick little 30 minute cleans during my lunch break because there's always so much cleaning to do every single day and it's a great time for me to utilize to get these things done. My son is two, he does go to a program during the day while I work full time from home. So I am very fortunate to get these couple minutes throughout each day to get some things done by myself. I hope this provides you with cleaning motivation and encourages you to use any small little time frame that you have throughout your day to get cleaning done. Whether you work from home as well and have a lunch break that you can utilize, nap time, or if you do cleaning after they go to bed. In today's video, I'm gonna leave some of the clips in real time so that if you're cleaning alongside me, we can try to mate the 30 minutes together. A lot of times in past 30 minute videos that I have here on my channel, if you want to check them out after you do this one, I speed them all up because I just feel like it is a little bit more interesting to watch. But for this one, I'm gonna try to leave some of the clips in real time. Some of them, when we get to making my bed, I definitely sped that up because making the bed is very challenging for me. I'm not a very big person. I have really tiny hands and our mattress is so heavy. So that always takes me a little bit longer than it really should to get that done, so I did speed that up, but majority of these clips I'm going to leave in real time so then we can clean together. Leave me a comment down below, do you like how this video is? Would you rather see it sped up so it's a little bit more interesting? I'd love to hear your feedback, so when I'm editing and do these in the future, I can know what you all like to see. This is our rice cooker. We got it off Amazon. If you like rice, this is such a nice little tool to have in the kitchen. It just makes that whole process of making rice so much easier. You don't have to like wait till the water is boiled or time anything. You just put the water and the rice in here and hit cook and it just does its thing on its own. So if you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend that. Next, I'm going over here to clean up some of my son's toys. He has been greatly enjoying this kitchen and has a whole bunch of food that he got for a Christmas gift. Thankfully, this little basket came with all the food, so it makes it super easy to clean up. If your child has a ton of kitchen food or any little pieces, just get a basket where you can throw it all in and then when they want to go play with it, he can just dump it out again later.
Next, I've got to do some vacuuming. Here is a clip of all my dog's food. Somehow she pushed it all the way across the kitchen. So I'm going to vacuum the kitchen and get all of this dog food vacuumed up as well. Do you have pets that make a huge mess that you're constantly cleaning up after? Leave a comment down below. Moving into the living room, since I already have the vacuum out, I'm going to just start with the vacuuming. Kind of a little backwards, but I have it out. It's in my hand. Gonna make the most of my time and just continue vacuuming this whole floor. My dog is very upset that I'm vacuuming. She just wants to lay here on her bed in the sun. She's so happy the sun is out and just wants to soak it all up. Uh, after this, uh, during the day, I had let her outside so that she could go and play. She was begging to go out there and I was getting some work done and then remembered that I had put her out there. We have a really nice yard where she can stay out there by herself for just a short about, mere amount of time, no problem. But when I went to go get her, she was just laying in the sun on the deck, just enjoying the beautiful weather and the sun. She could lay there all day and I really don't have to worry about her at all. She has been such a great dog. So as I'm vacuuming, I'm just going to pick up some toys as I go, just utilize the short amount of time that I have and make the most of picking up as I go. Moving into the laundry room, I need to get out the sheets that I washed earlier. Every single morning I put in a load of laundry before I start my workday and then during my lunch I switch over the laundry or take anything out of the dryer that's in there and get more laundry situated if needed or if I'm completed for the day then that's all I have which is great. So I just have some blankets that I washed also and need to switch those into the dryer and then we're going to go into my room to put the sheets back on my bed. As I said earlier in the video, I'm going to speed up these clips a little bit because it takes me so much time to put sheets on this mattress. It is so heavy. I have a hard time getting my hands underneath to secure this fitted sheet. So it kind of takes me a little bit longer than it should. It's a lot more work and I do kind of break a sweat while doing this. So I guess you could count it as a little bit of a workout. Do you, anybody else struggle with this or do you not at all? Our old bed that we had before this one, we got this bed while I was pregnant with our son and the bed we had prior was so much easier to make. The mattress wasn't as heavy as this one. I don't know what it is, but this one is just a very heavy mattress.
I always put the top sheet upside down so then when I fold it down at the top, it looks like the right bright colors instead of it being like this muted underside. I think it just looks a lot better when the bed is completely made. I like to leave something encouraging in every single one of my videos so when I was looking at Pinterest earlier this quote came up which I thought was so nice it says when a flower doesn't bloom you fix the environment in which it grows not the flower I thought this was so relevant and something so great to have in your mind especially at for us moms who are creating environments for our children to blossom in so as you're cleaning today keep that in mind that you're cleaning your house, making a clean, calm, non-chaotic environment for your children to blossom into the people they're going to grow up to and have memories of their childhood that will be with them for the rest of their lives. glad the bed is made. I did think that was going to take majority of my video today, but I'm glad I was able to get through that pretty quickly. Now I'm in my son's room. I'm just showing you here quickly. This is the outfit that we got him for Easter. I got it from Walmart. It is so hard to go shopping for boys clothes. I feel like it's very distracting because the girls clothes are so much cuter. Like they have all these cute dresses with little hats and all the cute colors and there's so many different options and then the boys clothes there's only a few options and sometimes they're all super ugly so i tried to keep his outfits pretty basic just because that's the options that i have to go with but do you feel the same way if you are a boy mom do you struggle with that where do you shop for your boys clothes i end up getting majority of his clothes from walmart Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your recommendations. I'm in my son's room folding all of his laundry. I like to get this folded when he's not here. Sometimes that doesn't work out and he is here, but now that he is moving all around and very busy as he's two years old, he ruins all of my piles. It takes me so much longer to fold while he's here. So I'm just quickly standing here getting this all folded as quickly as I can. I do like to fold so that I can put them away in like the file folder system. With the KonMari type system, it's just so much easier to have it organized that way. I can see all of the options and in picking out outfits for him, I can do this much quicker and also when putting away laundry, I can put it away so much faster as well.
just putting everything away. I have his drawers organized. The top drawer is all like the lotions, soaps, diapers, that kind of stuff is in the top drawer. And I keep his socks up there as well. And then the second drawer is the first bin is pajamas that I'm in right now. And then in front of that are pants. Next to that is the whole first row, I guess I would say, is pants. Then it goes pajamas, short sleeves, and like track suit type things. So there's like a uh, pants and a sweatshirt that go together. He really doesn't like the track suits. He gets way too hot. His preferred would be to be in short sleeves and shorts at all times. The third drawer has long sleeves, more pants, sweatshirts, and then clothes that are the next size up in case you're wondering how I organize his dresser drawer. This is his closet. I'm going to just quickly put his Easter outfit away and I do keep his laundry basket in the closet too when I'm not utilizing it. Just makes it easier that he has his own so then if I don't have time to fold his laundry right away, I have a place to put his clean clothes. My timer hasn't gone off yet I still have some time so I'm going to fold some more laundry here this is my husband and my laundry I'm going to at least try to get all of the pants done as I'm pretty sure my timer will go off any moment now so just keep pushing if you are cleaning alongside me use every minute that you have on your timer and get done everything that you can and then once your timer is done you'll feel so accomplished and rewarded that you got a lot of things done and I'm sure you're going to find you got more things done than you originally had planned for the 30 minutes that you set your timer for. I'm just going through and pulling out all the pants. I figured once I do this, it'll be so much quicker for me to be able to fold them instead of pulling out one by one. Our time is almost up, so if you're cleaning alongside me, keep pushing to get those last few things done. I was able to fold these pants and get them put away in the drawer before my alarm went off. Here's my alarm going off telling me my 30 minutes is up. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some cleaning done alongside me. If you are new, please subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday.